Here's your WNEM TV5 news update. Good evening, everyone. I'm David Custer. Here's a look at the stories we are following tonight. Covenant Healthcare is reporting a data security breach after two employee email accounts were accessed by an unauthorized party putting the personal information of roughly 45,000 patients at risk. Covenant notified individuals impacted directly through the mail, but the hospital couldn't find contact information for everyone involved. Covenant says anyone impacted can take precautionary measures to protect their information by placing a fraud alert or security freeze on your credit files or obtain a free credit report. Governor Gretchen Whitmer continued her push for all Michigan school districts to offer in-person instruction by March 1st. Some large districts have pushed back against the recommendation, but Whitmer says that cannot continue. Schools are cornerstones of healthy, vibrant communities. In addition to academic achievement, a school environment provides social and emotional skills that are foundational to our kids' development. These qualitative aspects of childhood are difficult to develop without peer-to-peer -peer interaction. The governor says 97% of schools will offer some form of in-person learning by Monday. And the state of Michigan reporting more than 1,200 new cases of coronavirus and nine deaths. That brings the state's total to more than 583,000 cases, and the death toll rises to 15,405. And now here's Brian with a look at your forecast. Thanks very much, David. Another spring-like day, early spring-like anyway, around mid-Michigan on our Wednesday as temperatures again found their way into the middle and upper 40s. Now, we are going to be trending a little bit backwards in the temperature department, but really only just for a 24-hour period and also really just back to normal for this point in February. It's not going to be a dramatic drop like the Arctic freeze that we endured for most of the last two weeks. On the first one five sky tracker, we had the clipper system that came through early this morning with that light wintry mix that mainly impacted areas north and west of the Tri Cities. That is now history well south and east of us, but there's a secondary weakening cold frontal boundary filtering in behind it may stir up an isolated flurry or two as it ducks quickly southeast this evening, but coming in behind it will be a reinforcing colder air mass along with clearing skies overnight that will allow our temperatures to take a sharp dip, especially compared to the fact that, you know, the last few evenings and overnight periods, we haven't even seen the temperatures fall out of the 30s. For that overnight period, on the first one five hour by hour forecast, by the time we roll into the midnight hour, any lingering cloud coverage down to a minimum at that point. We'll have a few stray clouds working their way through the skies from time to time, but critically no precipitation. However, as we head toward tomorrow morning, even though the vast majority of us will be waking up to mostly sunny skies with temperatures easily falling well below freezing overnight, since we again saw quite a bit of snow melt on Wednesday, you'll still want to keep an eye out for some areas of black ice to develop where some of that water ran across the road surfaces. It will likely be a pretty uh, uh, widespread issue as we head on into tomorrow morning, but at least no precipitation. That's reserved for tomorrow afternoon when you see here as we uh, head toward midday, a new plume of clouds will build in from the west with another small disturbance cutting through the region. I expect there will still be some breaks of sunshine from time to time, more of a you know blending of clouds and sunshine throughout the afternoon, but we'll also likely see at least a few isolated snow showers, primarily between about 2 to 6 p.m., most of them beginning to actually shift east into the thumb and across the uh, north shore of Saginaw Bay by the time we hit the 6 o'clock hour tomorrow evening, allowing us to see clearing skies then again as we head on into tomorrow night. Before tonight, we're headed back to lows in the teens, sharply colder as that's going to be. That's about where we actually should be at this point in February for our low temperatures. Clouds decreasing, allowing that colder air to filter on in, and also a northwest wind at about 5 to 15 miles per hour, making it feel closer to the single digits from time to time. 36 the high temp for tomorrow. We'll see a mix of sun and clouds, isolated snow showers developing during the afternoon, but really nothing more than nuisance kind of snow. Also a little bit breezy with a west-southwest wind at 5 to 15 miles per hour. After that return to normal temperatures on Thursday, we get right back into the mild category for a beautiful ending to the work week on Friday. Mostly sunny skies, highs in the low 40s, staying in the mid 40s as we look ahead to the weekend. Even though Saturday and Sunday do still feature a chance for some hit or miss rain and snow, it's just going to feel more spring like regardless. And we'll head back to the 30s for a couple of days as we kick off next week. Remember to tune into WNEM TV 5 on air and online 24-7 for the latest news, weather, and information.